Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's a big Thursday on FIFA Ultimate Team. It almost feels like a promo Friday because we have a new, not a new team, but the full team of the year in packs today. So we're going to talk about what the market movements are going to be because right at 6 p.m. UK, we are going to be seeing the full team of the year in packs. And that means a lot of packs are going to be opened, saved up packs that people have been holding for literally months. Now, some people weren't able to hold on to those, and they opened last Friday when the attackers came, the first set of Team of the Year's in packs, but a lot of people have withstood these Team of the Year cards being partially in packs, and they've waited until today to open their packs or tomorrow on Friday. But I think a lot of people are opening today with the full 11 in packs, or they're at least starting to open their packs. So, obviously, we're expecting a lot of a market rise to happen after the day today into the night thursday into the evening but i want to talk about what could happen before that because today is also probably going to be a pretty hype content day right it's a thursday they've kind of been doing an sbc every other day if you remember last year we had the bernardo silva moments sbc this year we have had boateng dibala and we had a flashback ribery i would not be surprised if we had a big time flashback sbc today of course ea knowing the full team is going to be in packs there's going to be lightning rounds so they can drop a big time SBC, overprice it a little bit and get people to do uh, a, a SBC player um, that would be very high, right? People like De Jong or um, Kante or possibly Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Last year, as we had like the Eden Hazard moments SBC, which a lot of people are thinking we're going to get a player of that value today is an SBC. So that's one thing I do expect is a big time SBC. Probably they could drop like a, a guaranteed rating pack, like another 84 plus player pick or something along the lines of another SBC kind of like this, uh, which I need to make sure that I do this before 6 p.m. tomorrow so that I can get my 84 plus player pick out of the way and ready to go. But then of course, when the full team is in packs, everybody's going to be spamming these upgrades, right? The Premier League, the league upgrades that are out right now in the game. And it's all going to be a pack spam, spam kind of everywhere that you look uh, today on FIFA. A lot of people are going to be opening packs, myself included. But what's going to happen up until then? We have rewards here in the next few hours. So I do think you're going to see maybe a little bit of a market rise. I don't think it'll be crazy high, but I do think you'll see some cards start to go upwards in price. And if you look across the market right now, um, there are some cards that are, you know, maybe just kind of fluctuating down on a low or they've dipped down a slight bit. There's some cards that I think could still be buys for a quote unquote Thursday flip. If you're buying something that you want to be either trying to sell in a slight rise before 6 p.m. UK tomorrow, or it's something you would want to sell after 6 p.m. UK when the market goes really high in the evening after people open up all their saved up packs and you see that market rise really, really nicely. Now, there's a couple things I want to talk about in terms of the out of packs cards, right? As we looked at on last Friday, this today Thursday has similarities to last Friday on FIFA because of the amount of packs that were being opened, the saved packs, the lightning rounds, everything, the, all that supply. It's going to be a big, big day on the market. And when people open those packs, all they want to do is just go out and spend those coins or go out and put those players they packed in their team and buy other players to link around them. So if you remember went up, what went up a lot last week, that's going to help you with what's going to go up a lot this week, right? The same types of players go up, the most meta ones, the most popular ones. Now, we had some headliners get their streaks updated today, and we, I want to talk about this for a second because EA actually is messing this up on the market because for the new guys that got their headliner streaks activated, like Ben Yedder and Joao Felix, to, to name two that are in packs, if you search under the headliner's quality, for these cards, you will not see anything because, again, EA has not added the headliner's streak item as a quality filter inside the menu. So what you have to do is actually go into the transfer market, into search Ben Yetter, and instead of going to the um, you know headliner's one right there, you're going to click the right stick left and go to special, and then you're going to have to search the old way. You're going to have to search the old way and do like a range to find that Ben Yedder, right? Ben Yedder right now is 1.35 mil. As again, you can see, he's got that streak activated, that little bit of that arrow and like the dial is turned all the way to the right on the top of his card. Same thing with Joao Felix. And these guys dropped really, really low today because people were not able to find them on this game. So just keep an eye out for this stuff. I doubt this is gonna be fixed. Um, so a lot of people are gonna be thinking that these cards are extinct. 
it might be an opportunity for some crazy lazy buyers if I'm being honest. I don't know um, how that's gonna work. I hope that EA would up that, update that soon. Um, but I'm just curious to see how these cards, I still think these cards, since they've dropped down so much, probably have some room to rebound after they got updated and people wanna try them out with their new stats, of course. But headliners were cards were that specifically rose a lot last week. Now, Bruno Fernandez was up at 2 million coins. This guy is down to 1.89 today. Um, this guy has gotten really expensive, or he was 1.8, 1.7 until his midfielder card came into packs, the team of the year. Since this team of the year card is up at 4.9 mil, that's why you're seeing this headliner go up in price a bit, Or and then now it's coming back down some. Um, but watch these headliners because I think these are some of those popular cards in the game right now that a lot of people want to use. Um, you know, the Sun card 1.16, that is up. This Goretzka is absolutely flying. We've talked about the Bundesliga links that are just doing so well in FIFA right now because of the Boateng SBC um, and the Serie A links that are doing well because of the Ribéry and because of the Dybala SBCs. So really take a hard look around the market and, and even stuff that was kind of Wow, look at this man. St. Maxman 1.07, Dembele 1.3. Yes, these guys are really high, but in, in all reality, what's the ceiling, right? We're getting more coins on the market. More people are going to have the funds to afford these items in FIFA right now. The stuff that is meta, the stuff that is popular, is just going to continue to go up. This De Bruyne was just 420K. This Diego Carlos is low at 160. But also, you have to factor in uh, that we had the, the Boateng SBC that came out. So this guy was, one, I guess he was still 170K during the day yesterday. So that's kind of low at the moment. Um, but other cards like this are really inflated, right? This Rashford, this guy is going over 1.1 mil. This one's going to probably 1.2 mil later tonight. I think this 86 Rashford, honestly, this one, right? The 86 Rashford striker card, still 635K with the position change. I feel like th this guy, if you can get him in like the 610s or 620s, and maybe like in the four four sixties or so on the Xbox, um, I feel like this guy could fly, like absolutely fly, because this is like uh, the position change striker card Rashford. I mean, look at this guy move all the time, right? Five sixty to six hundred thirty k, um, and then last week he went from five sixty again to six thirty eight, back down to six twelve. This guy probably goes near. Honestly, I could see it seven hundred thousand coins because more and more coins are going to be put onto the market today with the lightning rounds. And these are the types of players that people are going to go buy. Now, of course, we're talking about out-of-pack specials, really rare items. We talked a lot about Bundesliga players, Serie A, and even links. Wow, this Van Dyke is down low again, man. This is crazy. People are selling this card again because I guess they think they can, they're can. they going to buy the VVD Team of the Year, even though VVD Team of the Year is literally triple the price of this card. I mean, this guy at 1.05 is honestly getting too cheap again. Um, the, this guy's almost like an icon to be, to be fair, but icons are the other area of the market today that if you're looking for an investment to rise into later in the night, that would be the highest profit after tax. I would be looking at icons 100% because icons are kind of like the barometer for the market as a whole. These guys are like, if you look at the index icon, um, on, on footbin this is that's like a great way to figure out what the market is truly feeling and if there's panic on icons there's panic probably on most areas of the market and that's just kind of where the market is headed and when the when the icon market's flying the rest of the market is going with it right icons today are going to be fantastic especially i think some of the german ones that will link boateng and all the new bundesliga german um team of the year players together with those new you know davies um with Lewandowski even getting, you know, Bundesliga links to other players in there. But of course, with the Kimmich, with the Davies, with the Neuer, and kind of getting your team linked up right there. I think Lam, Balik, all of those German icons will do very well. And icons in general, especially the baby ones, right? I always talk about baby Cannavaro being a very meta OP icon. Uh, and this guy still isn't even that high, right? He was well over 800,000 coins last weekend at his highest. That's a card you want to keep an eye on. Um, other baby icons that I like a lot, Carlos Alberto. I know he's on the higher end. This guy was like 975K on the weekly sell-off. And I'm pretty sure he was selling over 1.1 mil um, just last weekend on the weekend. So baby icons that are very meta, that are good, especially because they're out of packs. I like them. And other icons as a whole, right? Yes, they might get supplied a little bit. But again, with all the coins that are going to be in the game, I'm a big fan of some of these icons, right? Schweinsteiger is another one that I like. 
Garincha. I like George Best. This Seedorf is the, the best Seedorf in the game uh, that people like to use. They don't really use. The Baby, of course, is good, but this guy was 1.05. He's up like 70K from where he was. So just if there's any panic selling on icons today or snipes that you can find during lightning rounds, that's going to be a big time GG uh, to pick up on some of those cards as well. It's almost going to act like a, a promo Friday. It's really going to be like a promo Friday, and I think people are still going to buy cards for their team. I know some people are waiting to open packs until, until Friday, um, not Thursday, but... I still think there's going to be so much of a buyback and so many coins in the market because people are just going to want to get those players in their team after they open their packs. And the next thing to talk about is the SBC fodder. I'm going to talk about team of the year icons, uh, team of the year cards last. Um, SBC fodder, right? 83s. If you have them in your club, get them out. Honestly, get them out. They're 3,000 coins a card because of the defender packs that came out today that were pretty juiced. We actually packed a team of the year on a share play. That video was up on the channel just a bit ago. Um, these guys are expensive, right? I think the SBC fodder is going to drop today, kind of like it did last Friday with all the supply. And if you guys remember, SBC fodder was so low. There were crazy, crazy bids last week on Friday when the attackers came into packs because of all the saved up packs and the supply that that brings to the game. So I would say if you have fodder, you might want to dish it out. Even though there could be a big SBC today, it probably drops that stuff lower, especially if they do the SBC release at 7.30 p.m. UK or an hour and a half after the normal drop. If they do a normal lightning rounds, they do the saved up packs, fodder is going to tank. And then if they release an SBC later, like they did last Friday, then you will see it kind of maybe rise back up in the evening if it's a hyped up SBC. So I would take the chance, sell your fodder and try to get more during lightning rounds if that's what you want to do. And then gold cards as well. The gold cards that are in packs, right? We take a look at like Gold Varan, who was already down from where he was. But you guys remember what happened last week during lightning rounds. He went from like 145 to 128 to 130, 135, and then bounced right back because there was so much demand. Uh, and then, you know, he kind of fell off into the week. And again, all that supply is starting to catch up to a card like this. I think there's going to be another opportunity today to see Varan go down to like 120k or go down to like 90,000 coins or below on the Xbox for a quick second in like the first 20, 30 minutes, honestly. And then he's going to start to kind of go back up. Same thing with Conte. Same thing with Rashford. Um, you know, your other meta cards that are in packs, maybe like a, a Pogba who is now back in packs. Um, a Salah would probably bounce well. Mane bounces well pretty usually. So... I would watch a lot of those cards. And again, some of your really, really meta out of packs informs. Kyle Walker, 850. This guy was 900,000 coins multiple times during the week this week. I mean, if, if this guy is any lower than 850 on the PlayStation, that's honestly a buy for me uh, because of how high he's probably going to continue to go. Even though some players will now use new team of the year cards, uh, I still think a lot of the really, really meta icons and special cards like this will do well. You know, mid hole at 5.6. Maybe you catch a few undercuts. He probably keeps going higher though. Road to the final cards. We talked about them without a pack specials. Um, those guys are going to keep going. The informs from this past team of the week, right? With Ben Yedder and Pogba, those will probably start to take off again tonight as well. And then again, more stuff that is in packs. The current team of the week. The current team of the week, right? Neymar, uh, Bernardo Silva, De Young. Top three guys from this week's team of the week. Probably going to get supplied and then rebound, right? Neymar today, first day in packs. This Neymar card went down to 2.2 mil. 2.2 million coins. Uh, it happened before midnight. 2.2, it says 2.3. He was down to 2.25 and even below that. He bounced back to 2.6. Always happens with first day informs. Now he's back down to 2.4. He's going to get packed from the, not very many, but he's going to get in some team of the week packs this week. And he's going to get dipped in supply then. But also, he's going to get dipped in supply during the lightning rounds. But he's going to rebound after that first Neymar special card of the year. People that have coins are going to be going and buying that card. So definitely watch for the supply during lightning rounds for maybe De Young, it's um, Neymar, and Bernardo Silva. And watch for a bounce back after that. Same thing with Pope. This guy's way too expensive anyway. He's going to keep dropping in my opinion. This is kind of like in Dombele last week. I'm not sure why an 84 rated keeper, even though it's Nick Pope and how overpowered he is in this game, I still feel like he drops during lightning rounds and you'll you'll see a time where he will bounce back, but we're going to have to watch that carefully and uh, you know just watch and see how his price has to drop a lot for me to get interested in buying a goalkeeper as an investment, to be honest with you. But team of the year cards, let's talk about these two. We talked about them yesterday on a when to buy team of the year's video. 
you're starting to see these cards drop down a little bit in price, right? Davies was just under two mil. Um, I saw De Bruyne was at 2.5 flat. So they're still fluctuating because they're very rare, but they are going to get supplied today and over the weekend. And if we see significant drops today, I think that's a time you can get in and probably snag some of them for your team. If that is something you're interested in, because a lot of people will open their saved up packs and they'll be looking to go out, raise the funds and buy new team of the year cards that they will want to try out in rivals and in weekend league. Um, Yes, people still play Division Rivals, I hear. But Ramos, 2.25 at the moment. But you can see how rare he is, right? 2.3 mil, there's only three cards there. And that's 50,000 coins of undercuts. You're probably going to start to see more undercuts this morning and Thursday around the rewards time um, before we head to 6 p.m. You'll probably start to see more open bid listings, cards with chemistry styles on them, not just ones that people have packed first owner and are now listing up on the market because they've packed them and want to get their coins. People are expecting these cards to drop down in price, I think, and you will see that today in the first few hours with the supply. So um, that's kind of what I'm expecting. I know it's a Thursday, but I would 100, 1,000% expect lightning rounds, probably lightning rounds today, tomorrow on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I bet EA would go four days in a row of lightning round packs because this is, again, basically it's today and last Friday were the two biggest days of team of the year, in my opinion. And then tomorrow, Friday would be the last or like the third highest like importance day but uh, it's these three days right this is a top tier day because the full team is in packs we're going to be spamming upgrade packs and watching the market on the twitch live stream i've already started crafting packs and we'll do a small teaser i'll open one uh, i have Premier league premium packs right i'm going to open i think about a million coin worth over the next couple days on my account we'll be doing a lot of share plays on stream as well mostly pre uh, Premier league probably some bundesliga we're starting with a board Hopefully the luck is in. Oh, a little Witherfred Indeedy. I'll take that. That is good SBC fodder that we will be using to craft SBCs. So that's what you're going to see a lot for the next couple days is a lot of packs and a lot of crafting. You're going to see it on my channel, the Twitch live streams. Make sure you check that link down in the descriptions. We'll be streaming there uh, every day this weekend, spamming packs, doing share plays and having a lot of fun. So I'm curious for the content today. But there's one thing that we can expect, saved up packs being opened and a really big market rise afterwards, probably a little bit of a rise in the morning. That's why if you see low prices before rewards, go ahead. Or even if you see a little bit of panic selling before 6 p.m. UK, go ahead and look to pick up on some of that because it will probably be profitable in the nighttime after a rewards rise. So that's kind of video for today, boys. Team of the year, the full team is in packs. This is like one of the most fun times of the year. If you like to grind the menus, because it's all about packs. It's all about trying to hit one of those elite team of the year players and have a lot of fun. So if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you later. Peace out.